One of the first things you want to do in VSP is to load a map file. Loading a map is accessed from the menu item Map, Load Map from File. There's also a shortcut button on the main toolbar. VSP supports two types of map files, DXF and SHP. The DXF files are produced by CAD systems and are often used for buildings and floor plans. SHP or shape files are often associated with GIS systems and cover wider areas. Let's start with a DXF file. These files should be located in your My Documents Visual Sample Plan folder that was created when you installed VSP. I'll choose OK and no text. One thing to note about DXF files is that they don't have projection information or length units in them. VSP assumes that your map units are feet until you tell it otherwise. You can tell VSP the units of the map by navigating to the menu item Map, Map Settings. We provide three options for you, feet, meters, and inches. Changing the units here does not change your map. It just lets VSP know what your units are so that it can properly compute the mapping and design functions. If your map has been drawn in a particular projection, you can tell VSP what that projection is by navigating to the menu item Map, Coordinate System. In the process of setting the coordinate system, you will also tell VSP what the length units are. Your map may not have a real projection, just a local coordinate system, as in the case of a building schematic, in which case you can set your map units in this dialog as well. For all matters related to coordinate systems and projections, see the video M200. Now let's look at a shape file. Be sure to start with a blank project by navigating to File, New Project, or clicking the New button on the main toolbar. Let's load the file called lake.shp. Often, SHP files have an associated PRJ file that contains projection information. If the PRJ file exists, VSP will set the map units and the projection information from that file. You can see the projection information by navigating to Map, Coordinate System. Also note that if the shape file contains polygons, VSP will automatically create sample areas for you from these polygons. Sample areas are these colored areas on the map where you can place samples. For more information about creating sample areas, see the video EA100. Thank you.